Hey, I'm Chaitanya and welcome back to the Ruvanja channel. I get a lot of questions asked on my Instagram regarding how I come up with ideas and then convert them into my artworks. So that's exactly what I'll be talking today. I'll be showing you how I come up with my ideas and then plan for my artworks. So let's get started with it. But just before that, I'll quickly make a tea. I strongly believe that Chai gets the best out of me and it's a catalyst for my inspiration. But Rucha thinks otherwise, she thinks it's just an excuse for me. Typically when I'm low on inspiration, I usually think of my own personal experiences. When Rucha and I were setting up our studio last year, we went to a nursery nearby and got some beautiful plants. And that experience inspired me to paint this. Another thing that I do when I'm low on inspiration is go out for a walk. I come across new things and generally new things lead to a different take on life. So one of such experiences was when I was walking past a cobbler lady's shop. I've seen her a lot of times but this time she was sitting with her dog in her lap and it was a super cozy mood which really inspired me to paint this. Now going out for a walk during the times is not really advisable right? So it's hard to go out but we have to stay inspired. So I was just taking a break in my balcony having a cup of tea and I noticed this family sitting in their balcony and having a really good time chit chatting. It inspired me to draw something about a family sitting in a balcony. But I don't really like to draw things that I see as they are. I like to infuse a bit of my own imagination in, into it so that I can get those characters and make them really alive and come across to the viewer. So I'm thinking along these lines that I'm going to show some family. So how about an old couple? They're, they're sitting in a balcony. The old guy could be a bit fat and the lady could be skinny just to have some contrast in between them and maybe he's just chilling and having a cup of tea. How about he's tired of this whole situation of having him compulsorily sit inside the home while his wife is more cheerful like she might be talking on the phone. Yeah, that's a good way of showing things, right? Maybe she is talking to someone on a video call. Maybe her granddaughter or some family member, some friends. So that sounds fun, right? So let's get to it. I'll show you the whole process of how I plan this uh, illustration. I hope you enjoy watching this process. I usually begin with doing a few thumbnails of what I want to go for. So these thumbnails are nothing but small rough sketches of the composition and the characters and their placement. In this case the very first one I did was about a flat composition very much front on and in this next one I am trying out a composition wherein we are looking at them from a bird's point of view and this one's even a more extreme point of view. Now such angles are usually useful for some more dramatic situations. In this case we want it to be slightly more humorous, not really dramatic and we want to have equal emphasis on both the characters. So for this particular case, this first one works really well. pick up the sketch that I chose for going ahead and blow it up in a big size and start fleshing out the details. You'll notice that I have not really started working on the face as yet because I want to get the poses and the gestures right. Once I know that the poses are clear and working really well for the illustration and the thought that I'm going for, then I can start working on the faces. I'm working on the expressions because that is one of the important part, right? Like I described in the beginning that I want her to feel more cheerful while the old man is kind of grumpy and he is not interested in the video call or something like that. So he's just trying to keep to himself and having his cup of tea. So I'm trying to communicate that with the expressions. Once 
Once I'm happy with the rough sketch, I start cleaning it up. By cleaning it up, I mean I start tightening the lines. The rough sketch had a lot of loose and sketchy lines, but for the final version, I wanted to look crisp and clean. For that, the lines need to be that way. So I'm going over all the the entire drawing and starting to add in the precise lines where I want, so that they communicate exactly what I want. Because a mess of rough pencil lines can be really confusing at times. This phase of drawing is also as much fun as the exploration part. In this stage, I get to work on the drawing with full clarity, and the exploration part is done. So I'm relieved that everything is in place like I wanted. I'm placing some plants around them. I'm trying to go for some symbolism here, wherein the bigger and more grounded plants are next to. this big gold guy to match his personality while the lighter and more cheerful more flowery plants are next to this old lady who seems to be more charming and more energetic the same idea is what i'm trying to communicate further through the colors i'm choosing here in i'm using a lot of bright yellow a lot of vibrant color in her sari while the old guy gets a uh, drab lungi with not much color in it mostly gray blues notice that adding this color suddenly differentiates her plants from his plants and furthers the idea that i'm going for i'm just going to add a bit of background colors so that we can notice that it's a building and it's a balcony within that building some final details it is i had a really good time working on this one i hope you enjoyed watching this video and got something out of it the next time you sit down to draw something think of how you can plan it so that you can communicate what your idea is in the best way possible if you like this video do hit like to subscribe to our channel and if you have something to tell me let me know down in the comments below i would love to hear from you guys i look forward to seeing you in our next video very soon bye bye Thank you.